Now don't go just charging in there recklessly, kiddo. That's Pope's killer, Merc. Yeah, well, there might be more heat out there. It's too risky to try to get to the boat by foot. You'll be spotted for sure. There must be some way to slip in under cover. Welcome back, everybody. Now we are looking for a way to sneak onto a ship. And I am glad that I made that jump on the first try, because I do remember it, which means it must be a bit of a pain. Sounds like it's time for a little stowaway action, Faith. Quick, before it goes. And I've got a pipe over there, so I'm assuming that that's probably the way to go. And I dropped off of it instead of sliding down on accident, but... Luckily, I was low enough that it didn't kill me. And this is our way into the dock area. What the hell is in this boat anyway? No idea. Could be munitions, I guess. Might be to do with this Project Icarus. Look, head straight to the deck if that's where you saw this guy. Once you found your killer, get some answers and get out fast. Lots of blue traffic in the area, so get ready for a fight. I was staying quiet during this because I thought there was some more dialogue that I didn't want to talk over, but it's staying quiet an awful long time. And they did see me, so now I have all of them after me. This is the kind of section where, on a harder difficulty, it would definitely be tough to get through without actually fighting all of them. But, from where these are people that I'm not that opposed to fighting, I'm going to go ahead and do it since that's the easier way. I'll also let you see more of the combat system. I'm out of ammo. thought that they had a little more ammo in each gun than that, but apparently I'm mistaken. I knew that you did have more realistic limited amounts, even though the opponents don't have any kind of limit. And so now I've got the heavy machine gun that that one had. And this would let me really pretty much just take apart anybody that comes after me. but. None of them are coming quickly enough to worry about, so I'm just going to go ahead and drop it and head in the direction that I'm supposed to go. Obviously, this was a section that I also remembered at least a little bit of. I climbed up on the truck and used it to jump onto the pipe, and here is where I did not remember. started trying to climb through there, and... Apparently I need to go up here. And I'm pretty sure I am in the next area now. I didn't just loop around and come back down into the same room. Even though it does look very similar. I made the progress that I needed. And that gun is probably about out, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to another one. And this is one of those rooms that I pretty much needed to be able to fight them. Because the guy with the heavy machine gun there it's going to be tough to take down without shooting him, and you have to go through this door, so 
you do have to have at least knocked him out. So, I had to fight them, but I could have at least not killed them, potentially. I've always had a habit of wanting to tap the button over and over to open the doors where you have to turn valves like that. I think I played this game for the first time shortly after I played a Metal Gear game where you did tap the button to open the valves. And so, even though in this game you only have to push the button once, I always tend to tapping it. And this must have been where there was a hidden item, because it's not letting me move on, but that area is obviously there for a reason. Unfortunately, on my save, I've already gotten all of the hidden packages, so I can't show you where any of those are. Try and find a way off that level before reinforcements show up. And I'm not You're supposed to go that through. way. I know that I was supposed to come through that door that the heavy gunner was standing at, so I'm missing some direction I could be going. No way over that. Although it looks like there's a way to either climb up once I do get in there, or to drop down into it. So if there's a way up, there we go. It just wasn't letting me pass those pipes a minute ago, but I am actually supposed to be able to. And since I didn't drop down into here, I am definitely trying to climb up to get through that opening, I'd assume. So we'll just work our way finding where we can climb up. I cannot climb up here. So let's look what's behind me. Uh, there's a pole right there, so that's probably what's next. And I missed it. Climbed a little too far across. And this is the sort of thing that's a perfect example to me of why I complained about having to climb up the pipes on the level where you were going to the mall. This is not a problem for me. Even though there is lots of time without combat where you're just traveling around climbing on things, unless you're making mistakes to have to redo sections and that sort of thing, you're at least always making progress and doing different types of moves. You're not just climbing the pipe. Climbing the pipe. Climbing the pipe. Drake says he's got a runner in your area. Says they reported a lot of activity on that boat. But he's seen what he thinks is your guy on the top deck. 